What's going on guys, Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. We're still working on the bar top budget beast on this one. I know it's been a while, but we're gonna go in depth a little bit. Check it out. We got the computer out of the bar top. So off the bat guys, I mean, keep in mind I do this as a side thing. It's really a hobby that I like to do, but it is a side thing. This is not my main job. Uh, for the month of May and June, um, for my real job, which is my catering all and my gym that I own, uh, it's very busy. These months, these next months are going to be really wild. I have a bunch of catering events going on, so the bar top's taking a little bit longer, but the customer knows it. It's perfectly fine. We're still just trying to tune it up and everything. It's almost done. It's just I'm getting very busy with work, but just keep that in mind. That's the only reason why you kind of see this kind of delayed. I'm, I'm busy on my real job. So a lot of you guys, again, you guys do message me. You guys do message me like on Facebook and asking me about tips and asking me how much it is and how long does it take. As of right now, as of right now, again, for the months of May and June, possibly July too, because I'm moving into my new house. It, this, is, this is gonna be a rough month. So just real quick, wanted to break out the camera. It's been a while since I posted something. So just wanted to hang out. Right now, real quick, we are still working on Morris's bar top. Just putting in some real final details. Um, and then it's strictly computer uh, programming to it. But basically, real quick, first thing we did, we added three fans to the door on this. Check this out. Three fans, only because the PC and how cramped it is, it takes up, it makes a lot of heat. Like, we needed some ventilation going on. I didn't realize how big these things were, but this is 120 millimeter fans. Light up, they only color white to keep it on the cheap end, but we got three of them. Package came with five. I might put one inside, but these fans are now pushing heat. Uh, they're, they're bringing air into the whole cabinet. It's really cool. We got them hooked up to the computer power supply. We're also doing custom power button on this one. I might as well flip the camera. I'm gonna flip, I might as well flip the camera because you guys don't like selfie mode, but we're gonna flip the camera. Let's go through a couple of things real quick and check out the mods on this. All right, guys, just a heads up real quick because I just filmed this and I already could tell I went everywhere. I'm all over the place. This is going to be a sloppy video just to give you a heads up. But real quick, I just want to interrupt because I get this a lot. People message me all the time. If you guys are ever wanting to like check out more of the builds, obviously you could check out the YouTube links. The YouTube videos are the best way to see full in-depth videos. But if you do want, you could also check out my Instagram. I'm going to label it right here, big letters. My Instagram, I have my personal one, which I constantly update. That's the one like when I go into stories and I like record, that's the one that's most frequently updated. So me sh be sure to you know do my personal account, I would say. Then I do have the Game Case Arcade Instagram. I only update that really when like I have a build, but the personal one is the most common one. So if you do, uh, if you guys do want to follow me, you can follow me on my personal account, Vic underscore VP. The underscore is an underline, Vic VP. You'll also find me on Facebook. You can find me on Instagram, that's the most things, and obviously YouTube. So again, just a quick update. We just got these in the mail. Three. Really, the package came with five of them. I got them on Amazon. 20 bucks. I mean, look at the size of these things. Three of them fit. I could have possibly put four of them, but I didn't want to mess up the door too much. Again, I'm not very great at handiwork like that, so I did cut the door. We basically cut out the original, like, there was like a grill here from Game Room Solutions. I just cut it out just to keep it easy. And now the fans spin very freely. Unfortunately, yes, there is no like fencing to stop, you know, somebody from touching this, but it does spin and it gives off a lot of new air. Bringing air, bringing air into the cabinet. Again, PC sits right here. I'm gonna clean up the wiring next for the control panel, but real quick, just taking a look at it. Custom on and off switch for the PC. This basically is gonna run right into the PC. Basically, it's going to turn it on and off. But real quick, a lot of people kept asking me, why did I go with the Dell Optiplex? Why did I go with the mini ATX build? You could have done that. I could have done that. But for the value of the Dell Optiplex, I mean, again, you saw my, my breakdown on it. We're talking like $500 right here, including the graphics card. But real quick, check this out. This is the coolest thing. This is the main feature I wanted, just in case. And again, once I get kind of global and start mailing these things out, maybe overseas or whatever, if you have any issue with the computer, the computer is actually sitting on the door, the side panel, I should say, of the Optiplex. So what's really cool about this is that this literally will be able to slide in and out 
So in case we ever have to tune it up or fix it up, or if we ever want to take out the computer and put it into another kind of cabinet, we could do that. Again, it fits perfectly in this spot. To gain more room, this fan right above our uh, CPU had a like guard on it. We cut it out. It's totally out. And now we perfectly fit into our cabinet. I'm going to put the camera down so I don't break anything. But I'm going to put this right back inside. Check this out. So now real quick, take a look. We got it right on in. Basically like a sliding tray. We didn't put drawers. We didn't do like a whole drawer mechanism. It's got to stay clean. It's got to stay flush. Only because we barely make it underneath the monitor check this out we're gonna go all the way in just make sure we're not messing up anything i got my uh zinmo usb here all the usbs are here the dell optiplex did come with this kind of extender i was gonna take it out but luckily i was able to cram it so it doesn't take up space check this out we're gonna push this in all the way all the way in and now we are in we are all the way in i'm all the way to the edge as much as i can we are all the way in and I could already tell some of the haters are going to be like, Vic, did you clear the door on this? I'm just going to unplug the power on this. Hold on. I don't really want to put metal to metal on this, but just real quick to show people. Again, I don't have it totally. I'm going to put it in before we end the video. But basically, again, stabled our fan wire so it does talk and communicate to the computer. Check this out. With an easy push. The door is in. We are in on this now. This door is completely closed. We got our clearance right here. We do have our LED sensor. We do have our Z313. This door right here is closed to the max. We can't even open this door anymore. This door is closed and that is it. Check out the fans. Again, we are not interfering at all with the motherboard that is inside of this. I'm gonna real quick plug in the USBs just to make sure that we do clear it. As you can see, it could still kind of push it in a little bit. Let's plug in our USBs and let's check out to make sure that we did in fact clear everything. So now real quick, I just plugged it in, tucked in our wire. So this is the only wire that's going to be coming out of this arcade. Again, check it out. We got our fans bringing in the air, nothing rubbing against it. Wait until you see the USBs on this. Check this out. These USBs right here, we do have our Wi-Fi dongle. We have our wire going into our external hard drive. And we have the USB wire talking to the Zinmo controller. I mean, literally clearing it perfectly. No issues. The door is going to close. There we go. I could always just have to modify the, uh, I have to fix up the edging here. I just have to fix up the hinges here to make sure it closes tightly. But this right here is in. No rubbing at all. Again, white LEDs. Looks cool. I totally dig it. And we also, real quick, I mean, right now, yep, we are booted, computer booted. I did not use the shutdown yet. I'm gonna program this right now, really wire it up. And we just got in the mail two Xbox One controllers. I'm really hoping I do not need a Wi Fi dongle for this. Real quick, opening up the control panel. Look at that, we still have clearance. Again, the door to the Dell is actually hitting my uh my buttons that's why i can't push in more unless i cut the door it's already bolted i'm not going to worry about it it perfectly fits but there is our extra four usb ports this again look at the back of this looks awesome i didn't i didn't spend the money on rgbs it would have been pointless to do rgb fans but just some minor cleaning up. This right now is definitely cleaned up. This right here is all the wiring to the speakers. But again, I mean, that stuff's got to go somewhere. I mean, they, they give you lengths for this. You know what I mean? So it's got to go somewhere. This right here, check out how we did our arcade button. Basically very simple. You just got to, you know, it needs a positive and a negative. So right here, I thought ahead in case the customer ever needs to take out the control uh, to take out the PC, you basically... There's a male and a female connection uh, somewhere here. I have it somewhere. I'm just, just put it in. But basically, you just disconnect the male and the females, and then you could pull out the computer one, two, three. That's why the, the plug is here. So basically, again, Dell Optiplex has their stock, you know, toggle. Basically, we took it. This does have like four or five wires going into it because this does have an LED 
and it does have like a yellow and a white LED, which is why there's a bunch of wires. Basically, all we really took out of this was the yellow and black. And basically now our computer, our shutdown switch, our arcade switch is wired to this directly to the computer. So this right now, real quick, I do want to put this in and make sure that our shutdown switch works. Okay, so now, right now I turned off the computer just to test this again real quick, taking a look at it. Took the Dell Optiplex, we connected it back in. That's these right here. I always solder my connection. So underneath the electrical tape is solder. So this is very difficult to just come out. Here's our wires that we could take out. But base is going right into our arcade switch. I did not test this, but if we make it work, boom, baby. That is it. Our power switch works. Our computer should be booting up. Super excited that that worked. Yes. I mean, I did test it to make sure the black and yellow, you know, wires when you touch them, they work. But on now, an arcade switch. We are very well good to go. Um, going into our boots right here. Again, future videos, just to give you guys a heads up, we're going to be doing some side by side laptop. Um, you know, laptop versus this, as far as boot up speeds, the whole nine yards. We're adding a bunch of games to this. The biggest thing, um, you know, we're going to do right now is we're going to do some Killer Instinct. I'm waiting for Mortal Kombat 11 crack to come out so we could actually put it in here. But it's really cool right now. This is awesome. Set, loaded. Again, I don't remember what I did in my last video, but this bar top is running Apex Legends. It is running Fortnite. This is a hell of a beast. Again, check this out. I mean, this is like amazing. You can even see here, look. It's literally blowing the bubble wrap. Three fans. Really came with five of them, but unfortunately, I can't put all five in it. It's just overkill, but amazing stuff. We got our, our pinball flippers on this. So now, real quick, I mean, right now I'm updating a little bit of a couple of games that we did. We got World War Z. Brand new game, basically it's a co-op zombie shooter. That's going in on this. Just got an upgraded, my, my customer wants Killer Instinct. So he asked me, he said, Vic, I need Killer Instinct 1 and 2, the arcade ones. This plays it. But I luckily found an updated Killer Instinct. It's like a Killer Instinct HD for the PC. That right now is going in there right now from another drive. But again, real quick, this video is just to show you what's going on and how this computer works. So you're gonna see me real quick, uh, you know, jump to the computer outside of the bar top. I did that again because right now if I do want to go home and work on this, I could literally pull pull the tray out and then we could take this home and work on it. Um, really cool stuff. I mean, again, we just installed the uh, fans. I'm going to take this time right now to install and basically hope I don't need a dongle for these Xbox controllers. I'm really hoping not. Basically, we're going to hope that the Bluetooth connects on this. According to the research, it should work with Bluetooth. So. I'm hoping that I don't need no dongle like my 360 controller. So we're gonna test that out real quick and uh, just hang out and update you guys on this. Just open the box, I can't figure this out. Why doesn't Windows do rechargeable batteries like the PlayStation? I don't get it. But basically we got our new controller. Again, this is the Xbox One controller. My customer did recommend, and I'm well, not recommend, he did request PlayStation controllers. Uh, Unfortunately, I mean, I got it to work. I do have my PS4 controller in the, car, in, the, in the car, but for some reason, some games need an extra software to be run, something called DS4 Windows. Um, it's just such a pain. You know, imagine you in the bar top, you're in hyperspin, you want to launch a game, and then all of a sudden you're like, oh man, you have to exit hyperspin to launch this program, and that, yes, you could program Windows to do that, but it's just such a nightmare when it comes to adding more programming to this. So unfortunately, we are running Xbox One controllers on this. My hope is that I don't need a dongle. I really hope not. The 360 controller, I needed a dongle. According to the research I found, you shouldn't need a dongle. And I'm hoping that two player at least could connect without the dongle. So we're going to test that right now as we install some Killer Instinct. I got Killer Instinct on my other drive. So we're doing that real quick. Let's see how it works. <laughs> 